वेलकम टू माय ब्लैक टॉक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंटी ट्यूमर एंटीबायोटिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस स्पेसिफिकली द ब्लियोमाइसिन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द एंथ्रासाइक्लिन बट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ब्लियोमाइसिन सो ब्लियोमाइसिन इज एक्चुअली ए सेल साइकिल स्पेसिफिक ड्रग ओके ब्लियोमाइसिन इज एक्चुअली द सेल साइकिल स्पेसिफिक ड्रग्स इट्स मीन दैट इट विल एक्ट ओनली व्हेन दिस सेल इज इन डिवाइडिंग फेज ओके दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल्ड इट इट इज एक्चुअली अ स्पेसिफिक ड्रग ओके सो इन द एंटी ट्यूमर ड्रग्स आवर मेन फोकस विल बी ऑन द ब्लॉकेज ऑफ द सेल डिवीजन और यू कैन से डिस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ द सेल ओके so as we know that the four phases of the cell cycle g1 phase s phase g2 phase and the m phase but the bleomycin is actually a specific drug it will act specifically in the g2 phase of the cell cycle okay another important thing about the bleomycin is the it is actually chelated of different ions like copper and the iron so Bleomycin is actually a chelator of copper, okay, copper and the iron. So, if we discuss the mechanism of the bleomycin, so first of all, if you see here, here is the actually the bleomycin. This is actually bleomycin bleomycin okay and as we know that the bleomycin is actually a iron chelator okay it will actually bind with the iron it will actually bind with the iron here is the iron okay now you see the complex bleomycin and the iron complex this complex will actually attack to the dna that is actually present in the nucleus okay now this complex here is the bleomycin here is the iron now iron bleomycin and the dna will form a complex here is the dna now this complex is actually called the bleomycin iron dna complex okay but important thing which you have to remember that the iron will be present in the ferrous form so this point is very much important iron will be present in fe2 form that is actually the ferrous form of the iron after that you will see the oxidation happen in the this complex that is the dna bleomycin and iron complex you will just see that the iron that is actually in present in ferrous form will convert into the ferric form you will see that the iron will change into the fe3 form that is the ferric form and after that you will see the release of the electron now this is actually called the oxidation so as you know that here is the oxidation number okay this is the thing when you will see the number is, is start increasing then we call the oxidation this is the one thing now iron in fe2 form will convert into the fe3 form that will be the oxidation process and as a result you will see the release of the electron now this electron will bind to the oxygen okay and after that after binding to the oxygen you will see the formations of superoxide free radicals that will be the superoxide you will see the formations of free radical that will be the superoxide and you can also see the hydroxyl free radical formations of free radical an important thing these free radicals actually dangerous to the dna it actually attack the dna again and breaks the dna okay these free radicals will again attack to the dna 
and it starts breaking the DNA. And when the DNA break, then you will never see the RNA division of the cell because in the division of the cell, DNA is very much important. When there is no DNA, there is no division of the cell and there is no tumor. But just keep one thing in your mind that this drug bleomycin is actually also attack the normal cells of our body, not specifically the tumor. This is actually the not specific. Also, the normal cell will also be destroyed by the bleomycin. Okay, this is the one thing. Next, if you see that in our body, there are a lot of enzymes that actually inactivate the bleomycin or destroy the bleomycin. And that enzyme, actually you will see the distribution of these enzymes will be vary according to the organ in which it is present. Okay, so first of all, if you see like in the liver and the spleen. So what enzyme actually inactivate the bleomycin and that will be the hydroxylase. Hydroxylase enzyme inactivate the bleomycin. So in the liver and the spleen, you will see the large amount of the hydroxylase. It means that when the bleomycin enter in the liver and the spleen, the bleomycin will actually destroy in this order because there are a lot of hydroxylase present in the liver and the spleen. But in the lungs, you will see the low amount of the hydroxylase. When there is low amounts of the hydroxylate, then it means that there is low destructions of the bleomycin. So this is an important thing. So in the lungs, you will see the low amount of the hydroxylase. So if you got this point, then you can easily answer that in this case, after uh, taking bleomycin, you will see specifically toxicity that will be related to the lung, that is pulmonary uh, toxicity. Okay, because low amount of the hydroxylase. And in the skin, you also see or there is no hydroxylase in the skin and that's why it will also attack to the skin as well. Okay, if we discuss the clinical uses, so, specifically, bleomycin used in the two most important cancer and that will be the testicular, testicular cancer and the Hodgkin lymphoma. So, these are basically the most important cancer in which the bleomycin is used. Okay. Other as other cancer also include that will be the squamous squamous cell carcinoma and the other lymphoma as well. So here is basically the clinical uses of the bleomycin. If we discuss the adverse effect, so most important as we discuss that low amount of the hydroxylate, there is no activation destructions of the bleomycin. So bleomycin is specifically act on the lungs and cause the pulmonary toxicity. Pulmonary toxicity is the most important adverse effects of the bleomycin. In the pulmonary toxicity, you will see the rails and the cuff. In rails, you hear the bubbling sound with the stethoscope. And it shows that there is something uh, that is actually you will see in different situations like in the pneumonia and the uh, when the patient starts going towards the cardiac failure, you will see the uh, or hear the sound of rails sound that is actually the bubbling sound. Okay. When you see the rails and the cuff, after that, it ultimately goes towards the fibrosis. That is actually called the pulmonary fibrosis. Okay, this is actually the adverse effect of the bleomycin. Next, you will see the hyperpigmentation as we discussed. The bleomycin act is specifically most important in on the skin. So, in this case, you will see the hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation. That is also the adverse effect. Next, you will see the alopecia. Loss of hair, alopecia, also the adverse effect of the bleomycin. And next is the hypersensitivity reaction in which you will see the fevers, chills and the anaphylactic reaction. So, you will see the hypersensitivity reaction. 
you will see the fever, chills, and the anaphylactic shocks. So, this is all about the bleomycin. If you have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.